I remember the ambulance ride and my assistant principal went with me. That was just the beginning. He can smile about it now. Mom and dad have a more difficult time because they remember that horrific day clearly. And got a phone call from dad um, that Andy was being taken to the emergency room from school. And I didn't know why, just that I had to go. Minutes passed. Sally Rogers' mind was racing. Got to the hospital and he was just arriving. Still didn't know. And um, once they, we got in there, we were being told that he was having seizures. Right off the bat, Andy's mom and doctors knew something was wrong. He was not able to speak. He was kind of groggy. They had um, given him the Benadryl. Then tests come back, swelling in the brain. Andy's airlifted from Vero Beach to St. Mary's Medical Center. Mom and dad met him in West Palm just minutes before he was rushed into surgery. So this is actually the first step as we go out there. Now their savior, Dr. Mueller, he was able to remove the blood clot and restore the blood flow to the brain. But the question remained, why? More commonly actually happens in relation to an injury to the carotid artery. It happens during sport or after a fall, you can tear an artery and that's actually a more common type of stroke or cause of stroke in a young patient. But for Andy, that wasn't the case. Tests revealed he has a blood clot disorder, but they can't be sure that's what caused his stroke. For now, Andy's doing well. Some speech therapy and daily aspirin, but he's a normal teenager, excited about his future. A future his parents are excited about too, even though they're always going to worry about Andy. I will never not freak out. Well, doctors say that the symptoms are the same for kids as they are for adults when it comes to a stroke. So it's important to understand the acronym FAST. F for face. Does the face droop when they smile? A for arms. Is one arm lacking movement? S for speech. Is the speech slurred or strange? And T, time is of the essence. If you observe any of those signs, immediately call 911.